What's happening, people? This is Callal Can Fly with my wife Emily. Hello. And we're about to get into episode nine of Cruel Summer. Mm -hmm. uh, this episode is called A Secret of My Own. I have a feeling that that's uh, going to refer to um, Katie. Kate, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the only Kate. thing I can think of. But right. I guess we'll uh, we'll find out. We'll that's... find out because I imagine they both have secrets. Yeah. True. So it could be either or. I think either these, one of them. Yeah, these last two episodes, I have a feeling, are going to be a little bit crazy. Yeah. Um, we got two to go, and uh, really anxious to see where this uh, season's going to end up. Uh, I do know that it yeah. has been renewed for season two. God. Um, so I'm just hoping it doesn't leave us on a cliffhanger. And it will. It you think? Probably will. Yeah, it probably will. They always do. I'm going to be upset. If they yeah, do. me too. Just but. wrap it up. You can always write your way into a second season. Uh, but I, I don't care for cliffhangers. I know, me either. Um, me either. But anyway, let's get uh, right into this episode. Uh, hopefully we'll find out who Annabelle is. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. But uh, please do smash a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so that uh, you do get notified when we put up new videos. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right. Just 93 and 94, not 95. Yeah. That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe this is going to be a bit more about what uh, what happened during a captivity. Right. Day one. Oh. I feel so lonely in my own house. And in my own life. All of a sudden. How did that happen? You're not alone. I'm here. I'm listening. Well, this next morning was when Mallory took that video of him leaving the house, if you remember getting sprinkled. Uh, yes, sprinkled and her standing in her standing in the window. Yeah, with her in the window. Day two. I'm pretty sure because that was that the first day of school. That false sense of security he built was a well-laid trap. It's hard. When there's something I haven't told you. I wasn't. Kate. Hi. I was looking for you. How'd you sleep? Like a baby. I wasn't always locked in the basement. I I had a feeling. Yeah. Cause I wanna say when they seen that film of her in the window, she had like a bluish sweater on or something. Hello. Mm. Looked like a sweater to me, not a no, dress. Mom, it is not a good time. Thank you, Martin, for listening. For everything. Kate, I, I really like our friendship, and I've never connected on this level with another student before, but it's Mr. Harris, at least at school. Yep, there's yeah, that. Yeah, there it is. I knew it was like a long sweater <laughs> or something. Oh, that come called her. Right there she is. I bet you Mallory sees her. You think? Oh, maybe she didn't. No, I guess she didn't. So far, I kind of feel bad for this guy because he hasn't. He, he obviously, there is some kind of connection. And I get that. And he definitely should have informed their parents where she was. Right. But overall, like, he really hasn't done anything wrong at this point. He's just tried to help her out and give her advice and... Right. So where... Mm. 
she's kind of seems like the one entrapping him. Yeah. What? Okay. She's trying to make him dinner. Hey. <laughs> I wanted to surprise you with a frozen pizza, but it it burned. Why weren't you in school today? I, I was thinking about what to say. You know, about where I've been, and I, I need your help. I'm not really a good liar. Your mother came to school looking for you. She came to me specifically. Look, you, you need to go now. If she calls the police, if they find out I lied, I could lose my job or worse. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get you in any sort of trouble. You need to go. Oh, that's, uh, that's terrible news. She's missing. He got the call. Yeah. She Thanks decides to stay. He makes her stay now. Yeah. Bye. Mm-hmm. So he pulls the cat. Yep. There it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <sighs> You're officially a missing person. The police are looking for you. Alcohol to a All minor. Right, now we're yeah. crossing the line. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You can't. Yeah. Don't drink that. I, oh. I forgot you were underage. Oh, good what? man. What do we do? You should have called your parents or the police last night, but I. Yeah. Didn't. No. That's on me. No, no, my, my mom hit me. You were just hoping. Yeah, but why did you go to him? You know, sometimes a distraction helps me think. Hmm. A distraction? Yeah, like when I'm stuck on a homework assignment, I like to go for a run. I mean, I know that that doesn't really help us here, though, so. What about a game? How about... Never have I ever. A drinking game? Yeah, we're already drinking. You're very convincing, you know. Well, I am debate team captain after all. Never have I ever been on the debate team. <laughs> I handed you that one. You know the rules. Drink up. All right. <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. Now it's creepy. <laughs> Never have I ever I mean, it was had kind of creepy for dinner, before, but, but you're right. Yeah. Now it's getting... Bomb. Wow. Breakfast for dinner is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. She's hiding in his closet? Dodger! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh! oh! Day 21! Three weeks in! Wow! I do believe he got sucked, sucked in after trying to do the right thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, but... But, yeah, I yeah. should have definitely not let it get this far. Right. Hey, do you know Renee's parents? The Thomas? Did you know that they're 15 years old? Maybe they had an argument and she threatened to leave. I can't wait until I'm and then, yeah. yeah, something, something Possibly. had to have happened. Be in such a rush to grow. Why not? After that, we can be a real couple. My parents already like you. Mm. And 
I don't think that's going to be the case anymore. No, honey. I'm sorry you have to choose between them and me. No, I, I know you are. Look, I, I want you to have both. I want the world for you, but we just can't right now. Not here. From the door. Uh, here, get in the closet. What? Just stay right there. Martin? Hmm. Greg, Jeez. Oh. Hang on. Hey, sorry to bother you on a Sunday. My tire blew out. I was hoping I could use your phone to call my wife. To make it quick, I should get back to bed. Honey, hi. Uh, I got a flat tire. Yeah, I know. Martin Harris was nice enough to let me use his phone. Um, so close. Great. Uh, I'll see you then. That was too close. Ooh wee! Wasn't great being shoved in there. Bit of home decorating. What do you well, I'm wondering if outside? Jeanette comes back into the house he while she's there alone had to choose between him knows that she's called. there i couldn't have both and they make an agreement that she won't say anything and for right. a long time i chose him chamomile soothes the soul I'm surprised she never ended up pregnant. Yeah. By Christmas Eve, the homesickness was crushing. Kate, you haven't left the bed all day. It's 4 p.m. It's been really four months. You must be starving. I'll make you anything you want. I want a soft bread. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I probably would have pissed myself. Seeing them cops like, oh my god. Wasn't there something, there was something about Christmas Eve. There was some kind of Christmas Eve event. Yeah. And I can't remember what it was. I'm guessing that's what this is, Christmas Eve. Yeah. There's the snow globe. Mm -hmm. She left that voicemail. Yes. And she probably went in there and stole it. And then gave it to Mallory. Mallory. Hello? Oof. You think she sees her? I don't know. I don't know. Possibly. She never seen her. No, she didn't. I wonder if she goes back. Oh, that's how she got the necklace.
<laughs> wow. She seen that they were so happy without her. Yeah. The dining room was changed. I mean, they probably look different, act different. <laughs> she just wanted to go back. <laughs> Gosh. I don't think I've actually laughed for four months. My body aches. I miss her so much. She left too soon. Okay. Yeah, oh. she did. Picturing her coming home to us on Christmas morning. He's gonna catch you from the Yep, back. and that's when he's gonna throw her in the basement. Mm, maybe oh, not. maybe not. Maybe not. How did she get end up in that basement? And who the hell is Annabelle? Yeah. Seeing my parents happy while I was missing. It made me realize why I ended up on Martin's doorstep in the first place. It ripped open old wounds. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I went to my house. You live here? My old house. But I didn't go in. I just watched my parents. That's it. And nobody saw me, and I came right back here. Do you know how bad it would be for me? If anybody did see you? Yes, Martin, I do. And you did it anyway? You can't ever do that again. I can't ever... go outside again? No. Not until you're 18. You know the stakes here. That sounds a lot like... Like what? Like I'm your dad? No. Or kidnapping. It sounds a lot like you're my kidnapper. Please don't say that. Then let exactly. me Exactly. Is that what you want? Yes. Oh, I don't shit. believe you. This is... Well, too bad. I'm going. Maybe not home, but I'll figure it out. Please think about this. If people found out about us, my career would be over. My life will be over. I'm not going to tell anyone. People will find out, Kate, whether you want them to or not. Especially are just like that. Yeah, you know, yeah. Going home. For you either. I mean... People were looking for you while you lived here. I'll deal with that. How? I don't know, but I want to go. Where's my suitcase? I'll pack She's, everything yeah, I can with. It'll be like I was never here. He's getting backed into a corner at do this point. I was there for you when no one else was. I took you in. We, we love each other. Martin. I'm begging you. Wow. This is when he snaps. Yeah. I bet you. Where is my suitcase? It's in the basement. I mean, <sighs> they both made some pretty bad choices, man. Oh, that was the end. That was the end. Wow. Yeah, so ultimately, he's the adult. You know, you can't, right. like, he, he 
has to take the responsibility yes. of what happened. Um, he should have known better mm-hmm. in the beginning. Um, but like she said, I don't know if he could have he could help himself. You know what I mean? Like she, that's what she said to the therapist. He just, I don't think he could help himself because of his feelings. But that's kind of scary. Yeah, and he's assistant principal at a high school. Yeah, yeah. That's scary. Very scary. So, I don't know. But, you know, obviously, I guess where does it go from here? How bad does it get for the next, you know, eight months? Right. And does Jeanette come back and actually see her while she's captive? Or heard her in the the basement. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know anything maybe Jeanette just figured that she actually was hiding out there right you know it could just be as simple as that mm-hmm. and never spoke up but right wow yeah. crazy crazy stuff yeah they have it's... a lot to blame they both do they yeah. both played their parts it's just creepy so, on so many levels is. you know like it is but somebody in that type of all you know who's an authority figure mm-hmm. just uh using that to yes. get what he wants yeah, yeah. crazy mm-hmm. um let us know how you guys felt about this episode uh i thought it was pretty creepy pretty creepy but it was really good <laughs> yeah it was... it was really good and it brought us up to date with a lot of things yeah for sure. yeah yeah now we just need to figure out where the whole connection is of why she felt the need to, you know, put it out there about Jeanette. Yeah, but That's we still be... don't know if Jeanette still came back. You know, she says she was there multiple times. Yeah, I and mean, which she has been. Yeah, at this point, she has been. I would have thought that scare would have kept her away. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like she knew somebody was in the house. Right. And uh, I, I just don't. And she knew that it wasn't Martin. Mm-hmm. So then, who you know, who was it? Who was it? Who else was um, there? But yeah. And who's Annabelle? Maybe we're gonna find out. We better find out. Yeah. I'll be mad. Maybe uh, getting locked up makes a snap. Maybe that's, that's why I said the. Oh, or the... maybe he actually brought her a friend, of some kind. Because she needed somebody to talk to. And actually, another person? Yeah. Now, that would be fucked up. Yeah. Another person knowing that she's there and she's locked up and she's going to speak to her. Now, that's a twist. Yeah. That's a twist. So, we'll, yeah. we'll see. But I think Annabelle only showed up the day that she got rescued. So, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. But, yeah. Crazy stuff. Uh, like I said, let us know how you guys liked it. And uh, we are going to get right into episode 10 because we've been, wait. wait, we've been waiting for a while. <laughs> um, but do smash a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you all over there on episode 10. Bye, guys.